in the last four days, the Bitcoin price has plummeted over 15%, with a significant 7.8% drop occurring in just the past 24 hours. From a high of nearly $72,000 in early June, the price of BTC has now declined by almost 25%. Here are the key factors behind yesterday's dramatic fall in price. The impending distribution of 142,000 BTC by the defunct crypto exchange of Mt. Dox has significantly stirred market anxiety. This amount representing 0.68% of the total Bitcoin supply is slated for distribution among the creditors of the exchange, which ceased operations in 2014 due to a major hacking event. A distribution process has already seen large transfers with 52,633 BTC moved in recent hours, suggesting that preparations are underway for a large-scale disbursement. Market observers and analysts are closely monitoring these movements, as the potential for massive selling by these creditors could inject considerable volatility into the market. Uh, the psychological impact of this uh, distribution has presumably led to uh, preemptive selling uh, among Bitcoin holders further amplifying market jitters. Uh, the German government's decision to begin liquidating its Bitcoin holdings has sent ripples through the market as well. And with transactions recorded on major exchanges such as Bitstamp, Coinbase, and Kraken the C over a fortnight, the government reduced its holding from 50,000 BTC to 42,274 BTC. Market participants are understandably nervous that a continuous sell-off by a major holder like government could lead to downward price pressure. The Bitcoin market has experienced a sharp increase in the liquidation of long positions, with a record $212 million worth of BTC liquidated just in the past 48 hours. This liquidation is the most significant since April 13, when $261 million worth of BTC longs were liquidated leading to a steep decline in Bitcoin's price from $68,500 to investigate medical investigation. For now, I want to join us. Such liquidations often trigger a chain reaction, leading to forced sell-offs and further price declines. These liquidations are indicative of a highly leveraged market where investors might be overextended, contributing to heightened market volatility. Uh, post the Bitcoin halving event on April 20th, 2024, the mining reward was half from 625 to 3.125 BTC, escalating economic pressures on miners. This reward reduction was anticipated to increase Bitcoin's price, but the increase did not materialize, leaving miners with diminishing returns. The current capitulation among miners is akin to previous market bottoms, such as the one seen following the FTX collapse, researchers from CryptoQuant recently revealed. Indicators of minor distress, including a significant 7.7% drop in hash rate and a plummet in mining revenue per hash to near all-time lows, means that many miners were forced to turn off their equipment and sell the BTC stash. Um, contrary to expectations of a buoyant market-driven uh, institutional investments uh, through spot Bitcoin ETFs, there's been a noticeable slowdown in this sector, the anticipated second wave of institutional money has failed to materialize thus far, leading to subdued activity in the ETF space. Instead, the spot ETFs are currently experiencing a summer low. The enthusiasm surrounding Bitcoin ETFs has been unable to counteract the overwhelmingly negative market sentiment. However, its direct impact remains relatively minor. Leaving on-chain analyst James's checkmate check recently estimated that only 20% of the spot volume is attributable to spot ETFs, with the remainder stemming from traditional spot markets. Over recent weeks, long-term BTC holders have been selling off their holdings in significant numbers, which has been a primary driver of the downward pressure on the market. At press time, BTC traded at $54,434.